Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies and in this video you're going to see how you can do polyline vertex annotation using GeoTools and CatPower. It's available under the annotation menu and in both CatPower and GeoTools you can start this command by clicking on label polyline vertices. You can apply annotations in all these different ways. You can do coordinates annotation, you can do running numbers, distance annotation. You can also uh, uh, apply conditions as to when you want the annotation to apply like between some range of elevations and so on. And let me just choose one of the options here XYZ, no prefix for the coordinates, text height is 10. I can also set my precision for X, Y and Z coordinates independently by separating with commas. So uh, here I have set 2 precision for X and Y and 4 for Z. So I am going to select the polyline. So you can see that I have the annotation here for each vertex of the polyline X, Y and Z and the precision is uh, as per how I set it. I can erase previous and get rid of whatever was created in the last command. This is true for every GeoTools command. Every process is put in the active selection set. So we go back here and now I'm going to try this option which is running numbers. I'm going to start from 100. Increment value is 1. That's fine. So what I get now is 100, 101, 102, 103. So you can use a variety of different ways in which you can do vertex labeling. Let us explore some more options. We go back to polyline vertices. There's something called stacked coordinates which means you can have the coordinates one below the other. So I'm going to go back to ENH which is Easting Northing and height. I'm going to say prefix with ENH. Text height I'm going to reduce it slightly and precision I'm going to change it to 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1, 1 which means 1 for all coordinates and we start this. So you can see that the coordinates have changed now the way it's displayed is different so this is the stacked option there's also if you're running the elevation option which is uh, Z option you have elevation check option which means you can choose to do the annotation only between only if the elevations are between a certain range so this command is very popular with our users and especially people in the geographic data users like surveying, mapping, facilities management and even a lot of real estate and building uh, companies. Uh, construction industry also uses a lot of these kind of uh, tools for vertex labeling. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and please feel free to get back to me with any questions you have. Thank you.